Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. When people think of the U.S. military's cargo fleet, they often picture the rugged C-130 Hercules or the versatile C-17 Globemaster III. They both are remarkable workhorses, transporting supplies and personnel to practically any corner of the globe. Often used together, the C-130 is best known for its short landing and takeoff abilities and remote airstrip capabilities. While the C-17 can do both tactical and strategic missions in no time. But when it comes to the biggest, and perhaps the most powerful transport aircraft ever placed in the air, the attention will turn to the behemoth C-5 Galaxy. The beautiful thing about this C-5M behind us is that one day it can deliver combat air power, such as Apache helicopters, it's delivering here for us today and the next day it could be delivering humanitarian airlift around the world. One of these aircraft, or one very similar to it, about every two and a half to three minutes takes off or lands worldwide. That's a tremendous capability that we bring to our partners. We're very proud of it. This massive plane can carry huge amounts of cargo over extremely long distances, making it one of the most capable cargo carriers on the planet today. And that's what we'll dive into next. With all those powerful engines and its sheer wingspan, the C-5's most distinctive feature is whatever it carries inside it. The C-5 Galaxy remains an aircraft that is tremendously superior in total cargo volume compared to other heavy lifter fleets. Capable of moving vehicles, equipment, and supplies on an unequaled scale compared to other U.S. military aircraft. What is it, Jack? Just the largest airplane in the world, that's all. Now let's dive deeper into the story behind this giant. In the, world, the United States Air Force C-5 Galaxy. The C-5 Galaxy came about in the mid-1960s, when the U.S. Air Force recognized its need for a plane that could move its really big cargo loads around the globe, which were beyond the capabilities of the existing transports. Lockheed, now Lockheed Martin, received the contract to build what would become the symbol of the might of the American airlift. By 1968, the prototype was already flying, and the first production models entered Air Force service in 1970. Over the years, the C-5 has seen a series of upgrades, refinements, and modernizations, cementing its place as a linchpin of U.S. strategic airlift capability. Now, let's get technical about this heavyweight champion. The latest variant is the C-5M Super Galaxy, powered by four General Electric CF680 C2 turbofan engines, each generating roughly 50,000 pounds of thrust, enough to launch this massive airlifter off a runway in surprisingly short order. The humongous wings of the plane provide more than enough lift to cruise with a payload at about 518 miles per hour, or in mock terms, about Mach 0.77. In terms of capacity, the C-5 can transport numerous vehicles, helicopters, or if necessary, an M1 Abrams main battle tank to a maximum of 36 fully loaded pallets. 
depending on the cargo that we carry, it's easier to load, uh, especially like uh, pallets, things like that. It's easier to load from the back to, in our truck bed mode is what they call it. Uh, where then once we have bigger objects like boats, helicopters, things like that, uh, the aircraft has a special capability to where we can kneel. Uh, the aircraft will essentially lower itself to the ground and then we can load larger cargo through the front end. The cargo bay can be described as cavernous, with a total length of about 121 feet, a maximum width of 19 feet, and a height of 13.5 feet. It provides somewhere well more than 31,000 cubic feet of space. With a maximum takeoff weight that exceeds 800,000 pounds, it becomes apparent that the C-5 is rated among the heaviest aircraft in the world. The Air Force's advantage today lies in the fact that it has such aircraft, especially the modernized C-5M, which are on constant alert to deliver mission-critical equipment to supporting theaters wherever and whenever. Training to operate and maintain a C-5 Galaxy isn't just about classroom lectures or digital simulations. It often involves working with the real thing right on the ground. At formal training sites, aspiring crew members and maintenance personnel train hands-on with real C-5M Super Galaxy components, including full-scale avionics systems. So this training that we have going on in the background, it's a C5 that's dedicated to us for two weeks that allows the maintainers and anyone else that wants hands-on training, they can get it done here on the flight line here in Yokota. So the career fields range from crew chiefs to jet mechanics to hydraulic mechanics to avionics specialists and even electronic and environmental guys. They come out here and they take the plane apart, give the guys actual training about their systems and even actually lift the aircraft in the midair. This direct exposure allows young airmen to build confidence early in training. They're not merely studying diagrams and theory. They are operating real switches, connecting real wiring harnesses, and fault-finding actual hardware issues. As technology continues to develop, these institutions upgrade their programs at the speed of that same technology. Modernized avionics packages, endowed with improved navigation, communication, and fault isolation capabilities, place all current C-5s far above their predecessors. The newest technologies in the training arena allow instructors to guarantee that every airman completes their training ready to deal with the latest symptoms with which they will have to perform once they step onto the active flight line. Of course, avionics training is only part of the picture. The four General Electric CF6 ADC2 turbofans that drive the Super Galaxy also deserve careful attention. Therefore, maintenance schedules are closely tracked to keep these engines performing at their best. It's important to do our part uh, to keep the engine well-maintained, to ensure the safety of the crew and the aircraft, and make sure nothing goes wrong in the sky. Because unlike a car, you can't pull over at a random gas station and just fix it. periodic, detailed inspections and replacements occurring at timed intervals, though specific overhaul times vary depending on actual use and Air Force guidelines. In rare cases, an engine swap may be necessary if the performance goes down or the wear exceeds the safety limit. Replacing an engine is an extraordinary event in itself. 
crews are taught how to pull and replace the mammoth turbofans under a field simulation. All steps are practiced, from disconnecting fuel lines and hydraulic connections to aligning the engine before it's finally bolted back in. It may sound run-of-the-mill in theory, but considering its sheer size and significance to a flight's safety, it actually becomes a full operation involving hundreds of specialists and tooling for a piece this critical. These ground-based learning tools, often called C5 ground trainers, are built to replicate the real aircraft as closely as possible. From training to mission execution, the true capabilities of the C5 Galaxy shine through during cargo operations. Built for fast and efficient movement of gigantic loads, it does so worldwide, transporting everything from frontline combat vehicles to life-saving humanitarian supplies. One of its most notable feats is transporting heavy military vehicles like the M1 Abrams main battle tank, which can weigh around 68 tons. The C5 can carry up to two M1 Abrams simultaneously, allowing the rapid deployment of armed forces. With room for other helicopters, such as the UH-60 Black Hawk or AH-64 Apache, the aircraft can accomplish multiple lift missions, depending on their configuration and with or without folded rotors. In short, multiple helicopters can be carried on a single flight, substantially reducing the number of trips required to move a unit. In addition, the C-5 is so big that it can carry a C-130 Hercules fuselage, which is very useful for transporting other aircraft for repairs or deployment. This versatility is not limited to combat. The C-5 often accepts humanitarian missions, transporting urgent supplies such as food, water, medical supplies, and relief supplies for areas ravaged by natural disasters. Disaster response helps save lives while returning a semblance of normality to hurricane, earthquake, or other disaster-affected areas. Even NASA has used the C-5's hauling power for critical satellite missions. One example is NOAA's GOES-S spacecraft, an advanced weather satellite that arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center aboard a U.S. Air Force C-5 Super Galaxy. After landing in Florida, the satellite was moved to the Astrotech Space Operations Facility in nearby Titusville, marking the start of its final preparations for launch. Two, one. And liftoff of the Atlas V and NOAA's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather watching eye in the sky, to join its twin in providing. GOESS later soared into orbit atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Another noteworthy mission involved the GMP core spacecraft which was built at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. Once it was ready for launch, the satellite was transported to Andrews Air Force Base and carried overseas to Japan, again using a C-5.
These missions highlight how the aircraft's immense cargo capacity and reliable performance allow NASA to safely move delicate, high-value payloads worldwide to support scientific research and exploration. In the end, the C-5 Galaxy remains more than just a transport aircraft. It is a symbol of America's ability to project power, deliver hope, and respond anywhere in the world. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.